just one more issue here. Uh, uh, it's funny, huh? The Irving, the, I'll say it, the Fredericton Daily Gleaner, supposed to be the community newspaper. You know, it's the voice of the community. Anything that goes wrong in the community or anything that's concerned or anything that's, that's good. The, the Irving Media, what is their job? To cover the story. One story they refuse to cover, and it goes to show you, the Irving media is just like Pravda of Russia. They go by what the police tell them what to cover. Not once did they cover prisoners forced to walk from provincial jails, St. John, Shidiak, Dalhousie, Miramichi. They're forced to walk home. I mean, the story that I covered there, Serena Woods, it was even covered by the CBC, the current national news. But nothing in the Irving media. You know what that tells me? The Irving media is like the elite. They're in clubs. This is where the decisions are made. Remember the Fredericton, what they what they call again? Fredericton Woman Executive Organizers Committee. They're the one that, remember at the Bradwood side event? Do you have a ticket, sir? I'll put that on my blog to give a, a uh, memory, a uh, reminder what happened. Anyway, I said, you know what? Why don't we let those people uh, that serve in jail. Let's not bring them back. Maybe they'll stay <coughs> in the area. Where once they're released, they'll stay in the area. So, how come Irving Media is not covering prisoners or that are forced to walk home? Look at the case of Robbie McDonald. He should be released from jail soon. He was forced to walk home. He hitchhiked. Next day, you know, he was charged with confinement, put in a year in jail. If the sheriff would have brought him back here where he was sentenced, no problem. So how come the European media is not covering this? I think they're working too close with the police.